What's going on guys, the boy Sebian Plays here, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal, and today guys, um, where we left off, we whooped my ramen's ass, and we got to know Kasumi Yoshizawa, and yeah, nothing really much to do in this episode, we have 4 days till legal action is taken, we gotta wait for the change of heart of modern Rame, and yeah, we're gonna see how that goes in this episode, hang out with some friends and all that, you guys are cooling down with that, everybody sit back, relax, get ready! Cause he we go. All right, nothing really much to do. What's up, Morgana? All that we can do now is wait and see what happens. There's no point of getting impatient now. Um. Okay, but I'm a I'm gonna work on some stuff because I wanna. Uh, you could probably make three. Good luck. Okay. Okay, we definitely need more lock picks. Yep, three lock picks. Make it three lock picks. Got that out of and gets us two points in proficiency. All right, let's go to bed. Well, you're not the boss of me, Morgana. I do what the fuck I want. Oh, velvet room. Okay. Hey, what's up, Igor? What's up, my boy? Caroline, Justin. You have expelled one who was stained in vanity. You are now one step closer to your rehabilitation. It's a delightful thing indeed. Yeah, beautiful scenes. We stomped down Madarame's bitch ass. Our master is pleased. You should be honored, inmate. I am honored, Justine. However, that man's remarks are concerning. It seems another has made their way into the metaverse. <sighs> why do I? F why do I sense a f bit of foreshadowing? Um, who could it? Who could it be? Who's the imposter among us? Rehabilitation is progressing smoothly. That is for certain. Mm hmm. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Well, thank you, Igor. I feel like my bond with Igor has grown deeper. And that is level four. Level four, nothing much. Okay, move on, please. Let me go back to sleep. Jesus Christ. Wow, our popularity is lingering at 8%. Oh. It's Kitagawa. Oh, Yusuke. I'm calling about Matarame's state. But for the time being, he hasn't suffered a mental shutdown. Yeah. Other than that, his demeanor seems to have softened a bit. All right. Is that the change of heart? Be patient, my brother. Uh, it could be, but I don't know, my brother. Yeah. Will the same be true for Sensei? A hundred percent. I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's all I wanted to tell you. Good. Oh, I'll try asking him about the black masked intruder from the palace when the time is right. Goodbye then. This time for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think he'll know about that. Uh, the actual Monorame won't know about his inner self. Well, that was a quick day at school. Boy, sucks to be in this suck inside the bag. I wish Lady Out could take take Lady Out or do something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Something happened to me the other day. I almost got kidnapped. He would kidnap a cat. What? I'm not a cat. <laughs> no clue why I was targeted. Some girl had this crazy look on her eyes. Like she was chasing me around and calling me a snowball or something. I wish I wonder if she's been going through other cats and snatching them up if she tried me like that. Try checking the fan site see if there's anything it says about it. Hmm. I wasn't able to find any relevant post. Hmm. Maybe it's just some another one known problem yet. The only victims are cats, so I'm supposed that could be the case. Alright, let's try to find around Young and see if they who's the culprit. Okay, and we received the crest. I want to hang out with people. Track is back. Ooh. Ooh. What are we doing today? I can't just sit around. I'm on the ground. It seems like Lady Hall hasn't gone home yet. Gonna go for her in a bit. 
You know what? Why don't we go to Youngin first? Why don't we go back to Youngin first? Um, see about that little cat snatcher. We haven't got any info about the Adushes. Let's try to ask the people around town. Okay. Um. Maybe so. Uh. How about them over here? That lady looks happy right now. She. She. Is it because she got a bunch of cats? I'm supposed to know. Personally, I think that's a bit too much. With that many, it was gonna get loud. I can't sleep at night. A bitch cuts, huh? Hey, she might be the one talking about the cat nappy case. Ask her for more information. Uh, can I help you? Uh, you mentioned cats. Uh, you're concerned about that household too? She suddenly bought a home a massive number of cats. I wasn't sure if she was alright. It was terribly noisy last night and, sh and they shed everywhere. <laughs> I'm worried. It's not the healthiest environment to raise those cats. That's worrying. Yeah, I agree. Even I told the landlord about the situation about Orna san's home, but nothing changed. Do you know her full name? Uh, her name? I'm not sure. I only say the hello to her every night and then. I don't know her that well. Hmm. She doesn't know we can learn anything else from her. Alright, let's get out here and go on we know so far. Huh. So what we learn from the mother and the child is this Anya lady suddenly adopted a lot of cats and there's a certain concern about the noise about them shedding. The cats that might be added that way is or they, because they seem stressed. Okay. Might not you might be able to find other clues. Let's keep investigating. Um will do. Let's go over by LeBlanc. Or oh, it's an old geezer right here. Is the cat not here today either? Maybe that woman really took him. A woman? Hey, you might be talking about the cat cat number case. Mm. Do you want to listen to your radio? Uh about the cats. Oh, there's this woman that who nabs the cats around here. He calls the snowball. A few people that I know have been, been victims. The same thing probably happened here to the cat here. That's terrible. Sure it is. She's the one keep you lady to boot and call the cats snowballs, even they not even if they're not alright. I did get her name though. Her name is Raquel Orno. I asked for her when she went to the when I went to the police, so there's no mistaking. <laughs> the police treat cats like objects. Those little guys are family to me. I wish I could do something to do about this mess. Uh, you ought to be careful too. I don't want your toting a cat around too. <sighs> so not only a cats are suffering, she's also hurting people too. The only household must be if the one who suddenly got the cats. That's gotta be our target. Alright, you need to- No. No. We're not going to mementos yet, alright? We can chill out, chill out on that. But for now, let's go to... Let's go to my boy Ryuji. Let's go to him. Alright, looks like the... You're really going to bring back the track team. The coach is... The coach is Yamiyuchi. Basically, Kamishita's junior. <laughs> I swear he's scheming something. I gotta look into it myself. Uh, what are your thoughts on training today? I feel like I can come be closer with the Yuji. I feel like my... Yes! Let's go! Alright, what do you want to practice this? Eh, we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'll go change. I'll race you there and see you get through first. Alright. Can you see my boy Ryuji? Hmm. Man, we, we really don't got a good place to train, huh? I mean, we're stuck probably running around into Nokioka and then uh, maybe stick around here. Got any ideas? How about protein lovers? Not today, no way. <sighs> I didn't want to bring my spare undies, so I'm not going anywhere near there. Uh, I guess it won't hurt to peek around the gym if there are any. That maybe we can. Ah! Nakioka? Takeshi? What the hell are you guys doing here? We just have a few questions for Nakioka. It's none of your business. 
So what? You gonna ask question with your fist? There's anyways, that's not the three on one is kinda cowardly, right? The only coward here is Nakiwoka. All the shit Kama said is put through is his fault. He was telling us how the bastard sequence was about us the whole time. What? That's a little bullshit. You should you guys should trust him. That's right. You should be training together for freaking ever. Ain't, ain't no way the track team's gonna come back. You don't gotta fight. Sh shut up. T I'm telling you, this piece of shit sold us out. How do you think Kamashita found out about your parents, Akamato? He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 pause, bro. Out of my way, Sakamato. We'll beat the shit out of you too if you need to. If you think that's gonna make you feel better, go for it. You're gonna wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels really looking bad looking big on your shitty stuff you done. Huh? Look, even if the Nakuaka was working with Kamashita, in it fine now? The bastard's gone, shouldn't you guys just put this crap behind you? There's no reason to fight. Uh, you can't keep people going around who's trying to undermine our team. But I won't do anything. I wasn't working with Kamashita. No matter how much you hit me, my answer's gonna stay the same. Huh, we got proof. Yomi, you should told us about it. Huh? Yamayuchi? Huh, come on, Takeshi. We gotta get out of here. It'll be really bad if anyone else shows up. Nakioka, shit like you ain't been welcome to our new track team. You better remember that. <sighs> you okay, bro? What the hell was that? Just stay out of this, Sakamoto. It has nothing to do with you. But... When you really hit Kamashita, you were really hitting all of us who tried so hard to throw his bullshit. You might have felt relieved, but it made life harder for us. One place we went our frustrations, and that one place we could really belong. The teachings got pretty high after that. Things ought to have been rough from now then on. You really think it's all fine now, huh? Well, what if I told you they're right about me? Why would you think it's still fine? I was the one that told Kamashita about your parents. Uh, mm. Yeah. If you told him, you told him. It's over. About that stuff, my parents anyway. Besides, hey. I realized something, Nagawaka. I may have messed up with Kamashita back in, but hanging on to the past ain't gonna help anything. I gotta be focused on being myself and being free. What are you talking about? Free, huh? You just gonna walk away? Hey. Marshall, I'm trying to. You get what I'm trying to say, right? Absolutely, bro. <laughs> right. He's the one that's not making any sense. Hmm. I guess being free is like. It's like, I don't know. How I feel when I'm talking to you, man. Can you explain that? Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel free. Huh? Uh, you stuck on repeat or something? <laughs> I feel my bond with Ryuji has grown deeper. Yes, sir! Alright, rank 6. Harris's recovery. This chance to steam like cure silence about inflicted party members. All right. Let's go. Man, that was some funny shit. So much for training, though. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We should got some money ramen on our way home. Agreed. Even though I went straight home. Yo, you good right now? All that mess with the track team. I guess it was I was right about my gut feeling. Akiwaku seems really stubborn sometimes. He'll keep my shut. He'll keep his mouth shut or whatnot. <clears throat> Someone punches in the face. I mean, seems like you two were close. Not really. You put a lot, you work a lot together back then. I've seen hate groups being drawn apart like this. <clears throat> it's just that bastard Yamayuchi's name 
come came up again. I swear that dude's doing something shady. Okay, I'm gonna do a full investigation. I'll hook you up if I find anything. Later. Alright, later, bro. Man, Ryuji's story is kind of uh, interesting. Huh. Oh, well, you got that stuff. You got that suity armor, I mean, right? There's a laundry mat. Um, is it really? Now listen up. You make sure you stay in, away from any dangerous places, all right? Okay, coach. Washing machine. You can now quick travel to the laundromat. Hey, hey. Oh, you have that suity armor, huh? How about watching it? Okay. Um. Um. All right, you can fit three more items. I'ma just use this. And another out. Out. Hmm. Man's equipment. Add a final one. And run as is. Hey, man, we got a lot of money. I ain't gonna lie. This thing sh is shaking a lot. It would have been nice if you had a washing machine in your room. Yeah, but it is what it is. Huh, looks like it's done. Huh, and it's much cleaner than I expected. Alright. Alright, let's head home. And go to sleep. Because why not? Right? <laughs> uh, you're able to grab a seat while you, but you already read your books that you own. You should probably get new books. Yeah, I'm working on it, okay? Alright, lunch time. Hey, there you are. Yeah? I need your help with something. I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Mm hmm. Housekeeping service. Oh shit. <laughs> that a cute maid will do anything for you. Anything? Easy. Kind of bad desire. A maid, dude. A maid. Who'll do anything for us? Right? Right? Um. 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 Except. Uh, what do you want me to do? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Oh shit. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, fuck. Luckily, some guy on the floor just moved out, so there's a vacant apartment in my complex. Oh, shit. The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. The place is all set, so... Hey, I heard that. Wait. What the hell? Mish Mishima? <laughs> Mishima, bro. Can I Mish uh, get in on this? Okay. Oh. Okay, buddy. Okay, Mishima. Pussy hunting. I love it. Wow. Okay. I'm not into it. It's just for research. Right. Right. It's just for research. It's Exactly as they're advertised. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. Just tell the truth. You know you want some. I... You want some too, Mashima. Don't lie, boy. I just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Mm hmm. Okay, buddy. Yep, we gotta see it through, my boy. Every <laughs> little. We have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Yeah, okay. So, what's the code name for this operation? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like Operation Maid Watch. Oh, okay. Okay, Mishima, act like Cisco Ramon. Yeah, for real. Uh, <laughs> and freaking Marshall's just sitting there. Okay, what the fuck did I just get into? Uh, oh, shit. Alright. 
Yo, I've been looking into Yamayushi lately. I thought I'd give you an update. Apparently, he's been hanging out the money jockey shop a lot. I heard he's been getting real drunk and brags about it to his co-workers. Perfect opportunity, right? So we can get closer information and intel on him. But who'd you no notice you? That's right. That's where you come in. He knows me. So there's no way I'm going to be say able to sit near him. He probably wouldn't even care about you. I bet you could sit, even sit next to his booth if you wanted to, probably. So, I'll let you know once I figure out where he's going to drinking. Till then, we gotta put hold to our training. I'll be counting on you. Yep. Alright, see, seems like we won't be hanging out with Yuji for a while. Just gotta be patient. I mean, I know we don't gotta hang out with Yuji, but, 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 I want to. I, I think I want to go see how Shio's doing. You think he could spare some time talking to me before I head over there, though? I could do right now if that works for you. Yep, and I feel like my bond with On will go sooner. Go see her. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Alright, I totally don't kn know what I should bring for Shiho. I'll be waiting for Shibuya. Alright. I have some big news. The double cream from the famous crepe shop is half off right now. <laughs> I probably can't take a crepe to the hospital though. But I really want one. Do you think she'll maybe want one too? Maybe. In, in that case, I'll buy two. Oh, right. I guess she has to do rehab today too. They probably won't let her e eat it. I forgot to mention, Shiho started her physical rehabilitation. Uh, she pulled up right ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her how to get stronger. <sighs> she was going to work so hard though. Hmm. Maybe I actually haven't seen her really rehab sections yet though. Oh, hold on. What? Wait, now? Oh, that's not good. Oh, what's up? Sorry. Oh, something came up. That was from my agency. There's one of the models did not show up for a magazine shoot they were doing. Oh, uh, uh, it looks like they're looking to wrap soon. So I'm going overhead now to fill in. Let's go. It's pretty close. Want to come with? Actually, let's go. I will race you there. Okay. We get mine at the meeting spot. Looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. Oh, awesome, senpai! I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After all, I saw you at last year's show. I was, oh, I was gonna cry. I mean, it wasn't really a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. Oh, by the way, I'm Mika. Please, no horrifics. I may be older, but I have loads of more experience, senpai. Yeah, Mika. <laughs> it feels weird saying it like that. Oh, you don't need to use senpai anyway. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Anchan, <laughs> you're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model, you know? What's your routine stretches and stuff? Huh? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? <laughs> what kinds of stuff you do you eat? I mean, I've been looking all over the place for important organic green almonds. And I'm getting super tired of eating cool little wet or wet wet. I do need like to boil it in hard water or something. Mm -hmm. Almonds. Hmm. Only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hot water, huh? I thought it was boiled stuff to boil in ice. Hmm. Do you rate yourself? Of course. Once a year for at the health exams at school. <laughs> Physicals. Hmm. So you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. I mean, that's not it. That's not it. I don't do that. Think about that stuff, really. It's nothing to do with trusting you. 
It's more like modeling is just a hobby for me. Wet. Ah, oh, senpai, that's horrible. What do you mean you don't care about Molony for these guys? Uh, you said that on Chan. Wait, what? I I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make their product is the best. Mika Chan, calm down. Don't worry, you know we're giving it all here. But you guys. You guys work so much harder than me. I'm the one that's getting too comfortable. Wait. Manipulative bitch. Okay. Anchan, the truth is, we have both you and Mika come down to substitute our missing model. We won both of you on the cup cover, but if you're really not interested. Hey, I didn't. Don't worry, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my right here. <laughs> Man, manipulative bitch, bro. What? You faker. You're so mean, Anchans. Do you really hate me that much? She hasn't really said anything. <laughs> Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, sorry about this, Anchan. We won't be needing you for today. We'll show we embrace you in transportation expenses, though. Throwing you, throwing it, and I will extra for your trouble. But, uh, the magazine staff left the photo shoot. Uh. I really screwed that up. She's amazing. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Maybe deep, it's not because deep down I'm actually not invested into modeling. <clears throat> she sees straight through that. I totally ruined the shoot. Anyway, Mika's fake crying was pretty. Indigestion! Pretty incredible, though. Uh, she'd be a great phantom thief. Cap. Wait, Wait that's not what I'm talking about here. I don't know. I pretty think I'm good at free crying myself. I know that perfect technique. Tell me more. Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. I figure that. <laughs> yes. Either way, I'd be thinking I'd be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse. <laughs> I guess I'll turn my failure today into a positive energy going forward. I sense a highly in motivation from on. Yes, sir. And wink. Rank 5, Rack? Damn, not even halfway. Holy shit. Alright, Crocodile Tears. The chance to let first our enemies to talk into during the blah, 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 blah. Move on, move on. I can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. Can you stop? Alright, speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try to work super hard as with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I'm gonna stop by Shio at the hospital. Thanks for today. Yep, you're welcome, baby. Yep. Oh, didn't you forget, didn't you? Oh, you know about that flyer? We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. I'm over at Central Street right now. You're interested. Looks like Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? Um. Yep. Fuck it. I'll be raiding. Oh, wait. Don't flick on me, please, okay? All right, Mishima. Actually, I gotta say first. All right. All right. Do you remember that group thing we had a while back? In the websites that came hanging justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. The Phantoms are true heroes, those. Any want to help out? Yeah, like any way I can. <laughs> oh, we're still executing Operation Maidwash for sure, right? Hell yeah, brother. Let's do this. Alright. You already changed your unit from your uniform, alright? That's a pretty good idea. Alright. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? So let's stop by mine beforehand. I gotta change too. Alright. So we're really gonna do this, huh? 
You think you'll be okay? Operation Maid Watch, bro. <laughs> yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Oh. Alright, if it turns out to be sketchy, we'll just bail out. The apartment's vacant, so it's like it's like we'll be messing in anybody's home. Alright. You're a genius, my brother. You're a genius, Yuji. Yeah, you know it. Alright. To think some Kamato has a brain. But in that case, then Yep. Yeah. Alright, give him a call. Leave it to me. Thank you for choosing, Victoria's this is thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping service. They answered Shh, Shut the fuck up. I take you interesting in our service, huh? Services? Is there any one in particular you like to request? Huh? Oh, anybody that we want to request? What should we do, Marshall? No preference. Alright, very well. Uh, let me see here. We have a maid available in, in 20 minutes. May I ask your address? Whoa, this shit is really happening. Maid services. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hey, what should we do? Have her do? I was thinking you should start with some cooking, or she wouldn't. I wouldn't mind some of the other services either. Should we? Should we discuss a strategy? They said twenty minutes, right? Uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh. It's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Did you wash your hands? Nigga, what? Huh? Wait, me? You really are nervous, huh? <laughs> are high school students are even allowed this type of service? Huh? Wait, what do you mean, huh? You should have researched it. I mean, if they find out who we are. How should I know that? Why is seem how? But why would it? How hard do you matter when it comes to housekeeping? Oh, uh, if we screwed up, if the number is showing up as an ID caller. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. Already? She's five minutes early. What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared for this. Answer door unlocked. Um, may I come in? Uh, I can't do this, man. I can't do this. My stomach's already aching. My hands are already sweaty. My spaghetti. My bad, man. <laughs> okay, I'll handle the rest to you. Do not let her find out that you're a high school student. I got your back from the way back. Like, from the balcony. I can't do this either. We'll leave this to you. Oh, come on. You're gonna dip up. Riji Mishima fled to the balcony. Excuse me. Are you there? Welcome home, Master. I'm going to fill your tired heart with lovely Angie. Meow. I'm Becky, and I have the pleasure to be serving tea today. I to me out you. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get along so well. Meow. Oh my, thoughtless on me. I should explain our services to you, Master. What you'd be like to me to do today? The basics, including clicking, cleaning, and laundry. But there are other services we provide if you desire. All right, come over here. Come get this black big dick. Oh, yes! <laughs> you look young, master. Are you perhaps in high school? I'm in college. Huh? Your skin looks healthy. Hmm. Are you not lying to me, are you? Mm. I'm sure those uh, I'll provide the other services. You matured a bit, master. So I'll be going now. Huh? Wait, no! Quiet. Is someone there? Oh no. Run, run, Mishima. Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? And you are 
Hey, yo, what the no. fuck? Wait. No. Oh, wait, that's right. How would you know me? This is our first meeting ever, master. This is unbelievable. Yes, yeah, it's me. You're. Come on, call me! <laughs> call, call me. Baby, she got some bitties though, but. Come on, call me! What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by my own students. Caught in 4K, Ultra HD, Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> I should have took this job outside of the city. I needed to be closer to school so I can go after I finished work. Wow. Our own teacher, bro. But I mean, she kind of a baddie, though. Who did you hear this from? Mrs. Chono, isn't it? <laughs> that herpy. <sighs> Mrs. Chono, the English teacher. She been smooping around on teachers ever since that conversation incident. Are you going to tell Mr. Chono about this? What the fuck do you mean? <sighs> it doesn't seem like you're playing dumb. In need of that case, I'll get in big trouble if you tell on me. I won't snitch. Hmm. Hey, if you're going to side with the teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class after all. If you promise not to tell Mrs. Chono about this, I'll do anything for you. Anything. <laughs> hey. hey, if you won't be any better, if you... People will find out that you called a maid service. This isn't your home address to begin with. So I guess this is at least you thought about it, huh? Oh, well, I'll, I'll promise to keep this a secret as well. So why don't we, well, why don't we both forget about this, okay? I'll treat this as you got canceled and you won't have to pay anything, okay? On that note, I'll be leaving. Do not say anything about this to the school, okay? Just act like this stuff never happened. Got it? Okay, bye. Have a good weekend. I suddenly feel exhausted. I want to go home. And those two literally just bailed out on me. <laughs> those two nitwits bailed out on me, bro. Oh, Maruki. It's been getting humid lately, huh? But it's like times like these when you just gotta push through the funk and don't let the weather get to you. Well... That was the plan anyway. I got I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really look suspicious? Ah, yes. Oh yeah, speaking about looks. Have any have any of you seen someone that you thought was cute and maybe decided that it would be nice too? Although that person is that process is totally normal, but it's not always accurate. There's a name for it. Any guesses? Uh what? What do you think the name of this phenomenon is? Um. Okay, it's called the Hello Effect. This is it. Right. Huh. I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities, but you barter yourself perception. You barter your perception of someone that can get biased. Once you get that far, it's only hard to make objective judgments. Like that person's quiet, they must be scary, stuff like that. Ha! Huh, he actually knew that. He's smart, I might blow his notes. Yeah, are you able to answer that question? Hmm. The halo fat isn't bad, but I recommend you give the people a chance to defend themselves instead of making a snap judgment. After all, it would be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Huh. Plenty of terrible people look perfectly indecent on the outside. But Lady On looks so perfect. She's perfect. Stop being a simp. So, what's next, Maruki? There is something going on with Kamikami. Something involving Chona, right? I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe you, you can ask about her? She's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. But do I have to? Why don't we draw something over here? This is the blackboard for your class, right? Huh. Why don't we try to draw the Phantom Thieves logo? I bet it will cool. I got this. Yes. That's the spirit. What is that thing? Hmm. Probably kind of pranked by the, those Phantom Thieves or whatever. Hmm. 
Did he draw this? Who is he trying to impress? Huh, you seriously think he does they exist? That's that's embarrassing. Man. They're treating us like some kind of joke. No one believes in our existence. This is a good way to tell how popular we are. We should try it again some other time. For the finale, let's re-ice it. Do we go see Takemi? Let's see. There is no one here. It feels like a day off. I don't get many patients today, but it's raining. I mean to get an influx of people with colds. What are you here for today? I want to do a clinical trial. Uh, I made some more refinements to medicine. Could I have you come in? I feel like my bond with Takemi can come closer. Yes, sir! Hang out with Takemi. Oh, fuck, of course. In that case, go into the exam. Huh? Huh. So this is Takemi internal medicine, huh? I'm glad it's still open, huh? I have a child. I need to have it examined. Oh. Looks like I'm the patient. It's with an emergency. <clears throat> and? So why'd you come here? Aren't you another care from another hospital? I heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis. The medicine she's gotten has been working at all. She she has a fever that won't go away, and she lost some weight because she's not even hungry. The persona predict COVID. Uh, <clears throat> a young girl using weight is definitely not good. You should probably go to a bigger house. Below. I can't provide an examination here. Examination. Uh, we've been to a big hospital, a university hospital in East Jujuku. But they, all they tell us is, is persistent bronchitis. A university hospital in East Jujuku. Doctor performs his hands like he's on an assembly line. I think he's like famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner here that's in the sticks. I can, as you can see, I don't have any staff here. Wait, I heard you have medicine that can only be acquired here, though. Please, I'll pay you. Just at least examine her. Wait, 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 hold on. <coughs> uh, doctor, it just really hurts. Uh, Doctor Takemi will help. What? 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 Doctor? <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How's your throat? Does it hurt? No signs of swelling. Are you sure you told me everything about her sisters and treatments so far? Yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? Yeah, you sure I send? It's such a sweatshirt there. There's something I like to have about a case in last month's medical journal. I guess I the ones is in stock what I have to do. There's a shelf in the reassessor says, Can you bring that the second drawer to the examining room? You'll need help to administer to the medicine though. Also, there's a beaker in the fridge with a lead label in the fridge, a towel, and a wash basin, and a measuring spoon. Fine. Wait, what are you waiting for? Get moving! Um, yes, mommy. I mean, um, to get me. Uh, thank you so much. I didn't expect to recover so quickly. Mm. Hmm. It's a very unique strain of infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I temporarily suppress the symptoms. It will make myth justice as your condition improves. That will be one million yen for today. One million yen? That's outrageous! You're completely taking advantage of... I mean... I'll... Alright, I'll agree to play. You don't take credit cards, don't you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. Wait, you're actually going to pay? By the way... A famous doctor, anyway. Wasn't that chief chief of staff unmelted yet? Yeah, are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free as charge. Free? 
You're so kind. Not really. But there is a certain amount of satisfaction in treating this patient without permission. By the way. By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Man, I'm really getting luck with the ladies, huh? <clears throat> Is he, your, is he your assistant? He seems awfully young. My assistant? Yes. My guinea pig? Guinea pig? Yes. And he's gonna... You be about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Yes. I feel like my bum was taking me as going deeper. Are we rank 7? Oh, rank 4. I thought we rank 7. Alright. Alright. Rank 4 with Takemi. Um, doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating, regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor. Don't mention it. Yeah. Your turn. I kind of what response you will have this time. Maybe you won't be able to make it home. Uh, okay. I am I guts has increased yet from a yet another clinical trial from our lovely golf girlfriend I mean Bye. friend to Kemi <clears throat> oh no I like golf chicks okay um how are you feeling today's drug was kind of a rough one huh huh <laughs> maybe it was my what my careless little guinea pig deserved especially after improving that girl's constellation without my permission well, <laughs> punish me more. <laughs> uh, good God. None of my menaces can cure that. <laughs> the drug doesn't seem to be more stable compared to the early stages, though. It's probably thanks to your cooperation. It's like I'm almost there. Just try not to die yet, okay? Alright, take care. Alright, see you later, Takemi. All right. The exhibit ends tomorrow. Arame has must have a change of heart by now, right? I'm sure it'll be fine. So far, nobody's coming, charging it, charging at us with anything yet. Well, I guess the press charges will have to wait after. <sighs> what should we do if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He still was staying with Arame, right? Yeah, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Mamarame. I'm sorry I'm late to contact you all. I'm sure something certainly will happen tomorrow. Is Mamarame on the phone as, as we speak? Wait. With who? Likely the media. I haven't heard anything about this conversation about pressing charges. Well, we just gotta wait till then. Let's meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Yep. Uh, I'm sure it'll all work out. I can still teach you the ropes. I don't think my body will use... Uh, ah, we'll spend time with it. Right, Fuck it. Then. Put the stuff down. Get on it. Hey, bro, don't forget to wash your hands. Sergio's guidance is extremely precise. I just told him you saw that you just told me. Thanks. Thanks for helping me out. No problem, even though I can't hang out with you for a while, but Alright. Today's the day. What's up with that old geezer? Oh, is he crying? Ooh. I I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I uh, plagiarized work. I I tainted this this country's art world. Even Sayori. <laughs> How could I? I possibly apologize to to everyone. <laughs> 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 He's crying way too much. 
Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Wait, you smoking that back too, baby? Hey, I got a trophy. Let's go. TV the other day? Yep. On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. Yeah. This large scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and. That old man's done for. Yep, that buzzle's done. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, Initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Facts! Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Yeah. Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dupious note at Matarame's exhibit. The yes! Acknowledge our existence! Now, Acknowledge our existence! Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Matter of fact, we do. Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. It's totally possible. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Yes, sir. Phantom thieves, huh? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Phantom thieves again. Oh, nice to see you too, Makoto. She got cake, though. You guys see the news about Matarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. Yep. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Yeah. This will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. Yeah. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Uh-oh. It's the police! Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? Um. That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. Yep. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Um... We wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? Okay. There's been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. Woo! <laughs> it's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Yeah. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? Totally panicked because of you. Hey. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Yeah. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around. We're the only people worrying about it. For real. I guess you're right. Yeah. By the way, Yusuke. You able to get anything out of Matarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. 
In that case, gaining information will be difficult. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do now? Yeah, actually. I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. Okay, that's nice. Scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. Yeah. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? I mean, that's pretty much what we did last time. We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. But Makoto was watching us? Come on, girl. Come on. Why are you stalking us? And we acknowledged it too. Oh shit. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? It's to take it how you want it. Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. I'm not snitching. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> I'm not snitching. Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man. Oh. Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. Well, 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 I don't know. <laughs> the suspect has repeatedly testified. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. I mean, of course he did. <laughs> Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. What the fuck? 
And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> you are getting sussy. Holy shit. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you gained them too, right? <laughs> yeah, my gratitude. <sighs> Why are you so polite all of a sudden? I'm truly thankful for what he come to, to my senses. You lost one. Indeed. I will return the favor someday. You're one of us now, man. We'll be calling on you, okay? Of course. If anything comes up, we won't hesitate to land a hand. Thank you. We'll see you. <laughs> we won't have to go. He doesn't have to go to trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest man. <sighs> well, that went well for our first job, huh? It was a huge success. So, you got time after this? Uh, for what? You know. You know, I got some. Three tickets to a lounge from the sky I know. Hmm. I for totally forgot they expired today. So you want to go right now? Um. We just, do we just talk about we need to be on guard? Come on, let's just go darts. Don't you want to play two more, Ghana? Actually, you want to throw anything? Hmm. If you're going to play, it won't be a problem. Alright, we should head to the Darts Lounge, or whatever it is. Lead the way, Yuji. Yeah. Alright, I'm on it. Alright, it, this place is in Kochiji. We should take the train first. I ain't never been there. Oh, oh for real? There's a bunch of different shops in sta outside the station there. Alright, we got just one step away. Let's head to the Yami line first. Alright. 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 It looks like we're hanging out with Ryuji, even though we can't actually hang out with them, but... Okay, we gotta go up here. Alright, up these years is the Inogami, right? This is the way to Kukujoji. Oh, I'm getting excited! Let's go! And we all like a new area. Alright. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Yeah. I got plenty of money, Morgana. What are you talking about? We're chilling. <sighs> Those. Makoto, why are you following us? <laughs> why is Makoto following us? <sighs> so, this is Coach Joji, right? You can tell me it's nothing like Shibuya. Just when they ask Spear here. <laughs> yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops you can't find in Shibuya. Alright. I already know. Right, this seems interesting. Right? It's getting your attention now, huh? Also not here, it's because she's busy. I think it'll all be uh, fun if we get some more people in. I think the darts is just one block from the main street. Right. But since we're here, why even say no checking out a bunch of the other shops the other way? I mean... Wow. Look at the atmosphere. Hmm. Makoto! <laughs> Hold on. Can I turn it? I can't turn around. Why can I not turn around? Turn around, turn around. What, like, look at her. Look at her. Just... What, what you doing? What you doing? Huh? Um. Oh, am I? What a coincidence. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so I wonder what's up. Oh, a hat story. Hmm. Our gunner sons is telling me this store has a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell Morgana says this? Anyway, let's take a look. Oh, hey. is that... Mm, you bring your suity clothes here. Suity clothes? Huh. Dry cleaning? Oh, that score is kind of weird. 
Uh, looks pretty fun. Yeah, I want some Louis. Man, look at this. This place looks so cool, bro. And I, oh. huh? This is the road. Hey. Huh. Name. Name of the dash town's matches the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? For real? Yeah. This means paying ticket literally. Yeah, I mean, let's go check it out. Whoa. Wow, this is the place, huh? Hmm, I'm kind of nervous. Hmm. You're such a child. Try not to embarrass yourself through the rest of us, okay? All right, so I spend one hand aside. Let's go. Hey, you can quit chat with the darts and billiards. Bullseye? The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Yeah. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. Yeah. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's yeah. that sound? Pretty sick, right? Yep. So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and Why'd you do it? Why would do you do it, Morgana? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Alright. Wow, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Rumbling. Yes, sir. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Yes, sir. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Yeah. Man, this is so fun. Thanks. You're on the line. The pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. All right, baton pass rank two for you, Yuji. Uh, I feel something better on the stain with pain. Yes, and we ain't got our baton pass too. So rank three will be increased dealt damage, heal even more at HP, recover SP after baton pass. Oh yeah. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Yep. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Hmm, so almost dedicated. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Mm -hmm. Let's keep practicing together here. Oh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Yes, sir. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know... One of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, 
We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, yeah. We should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Yep. Yep. No problem, fam. And that's where I am going. Hey. Huh. Remember the transfer lines to Shibuya, yeah? Our customers have been getting dangerous over there here. Don't let yourself be in the target. Mm. Huh. It's really gotten unsafe, huh? Still want to check out Chicka Choosy right now, don't you? Don't worry. Worst comes to works. I got your back. <laughs> huh. There's this disgusting smell on that street, though. Be the bear's investigating. <laughs> Uh, pick up some interesting info you want might want to hear. Apparently, there's been some old man that's been causing problems with Kochi Goji. If you want to make the wrong move or wrong thing, you fly into rage and start a fight. Even though you didn't hit him, he lies and says you did. Then he sues for damages. It's like a con artist or like a conflict artist. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is. He's known as the old troublemaker. He's not enough to get a name. I did hear he is around the Koji Ogoji and Army Alley a lot, so. This old man sure does like a problem. You don't even know his name. Maybe we could change his heart. Alright, our next stop is Kikijoji. Let's check out the Harmony Hideout. out. Alright, we got another request to receive. That's gonna do it for this Persona 5 Royal episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode and want some more Persona 5 Royal, be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if all notifications on. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We just hit 420 subscribers yesterday. And yeah, so if you're new here, subscribe. We do we do episodes of Persona 5 Royal every every other week. And yeah. This is your boy, Tavor, Shepard Place, and peace out. Catch you guys later. Stay positive, my friends. Peace!